Hey, I'm Marlo with Marlo Gets Fit, coming to you from Grants Pass, Oregon on this beautiful Monday, Monday evening. I've totally been thinking it's Tuesday all day. <laughs> so if you don't know who I am, I'm a wife, I'm a mom, I work full time during the day and I have a home business and I'm on a get healthy journey. So today I just wanted to do a quick update, I talk about some exercise I've been doing and I have a few uh, low carb or sugar free uh, baking chocolate options I wanted to show you and another chocolate that's one of my favorites. So let me just see if I can get this shared really quick. Post, there we go. Thank you, Facebook. Hope you had a good day today. Um, kind of a really busy day for me at work. I had lots of stuff going on with work. Um, and then uh, we had to go out and do some errands. And of course, uh, tomorrow here in Oregon is, uh, we do mail-in ballots here in Oregon and tomorrow is the deadline. So I had to go drop off my ballot. So I did that. So that was good. Um, so anyway, um, other than that, we did go out today, went and had to get some lunch meat because I made a turkey turkey and cheese um, sandwich for lunch today on my keto bread. It was so yummy. And when we were at the store, they had some, every once in a while, they have these really yummy stuffed cheese jalapeno, uh, bacon wrapped uh, jalapeno poppers, I guess you call them. Oh my gosh, had one of those. It was so yummy. They are so good. And we were going to make our my favorite jalapeno popper chicken casserole, but decided to wait until tomorrow. So probably post some pictures of that tomorrow. That is one of my favorite recipes now. It's so yummy. It's like a jalapeno popper with chicken and casserole and cheese, and it's so really yummy. Um, so anyway, let's see. Uh, I started an ab challenge, or I joined an ab challenge. Um, it's a seven-day ab challenge. <laughs> And today was the first day and oh my gosh my abs are so out of shape <laughs> it about killed me it's like an eight minute video um abs you're doing ab work and oh my gosh my stomach is killing me uh it's it's pretty pathetic but it feels really good to actually be working my muscles my stomach my poor abs i need they need so much work so i did that so my abs are they're they're kind of angry at me but maybe happy at the same time that i'm actually working them and I have a little bit of a funny story and maybe a gross story. I don't know. But of course, of course, it's like, is it, is it a lesson? I shouldn't be exercising? I don't know. But so I get down on my floor to, to exercise and do my ab work. And wouldn't you know, my dog did a, like, went poo right there. And I laid right in it. <laughs> it's like, oh my gosh, are you kidding me? So anyway, my dog's in trouble. But I survived and cleaned it up and did my ab work anyway and about killed me. But anyway, so I felt really good that I got that done and getting my steps in. Uh, so doing that and doing my exercises throughout the day. So getting my exercise in. Yay! yay. So um, as far as the, if you if you have wanted to do any recipes with baking and you want to have like chocolate chips and stuff in it and you want to keep it low carb, there are a few options for um, low carb um or sugar-free chocolates and one of them is Choc Zero. They have some really good ones and they have a lot of different flavors. I got this back in uh, one of my uh, keto crates and it's uh, no sugar added baking chips and this I think is just regular chocolate. Let me get my uh, readers on so I can read out here. Um, white chocolate. So this is white chocolate, real cocoa butter, baking chips, all natural, GMO free, no sugar alcohols. I think that's one of the really good things about the Chalk Zero is they have no sugar alcohols. Um, and I've heard a lot of really good things. I have not actually tried them, so I can't wait. I love their other chocolates. They have a lot of chocolate, um, chocolate bark, chocolate different candies and stuff that you can get. And they have um, sugar free syrups like strawberry syrup and a uh, caramel syrup and those sort of things you can put on, you know, in sort of your baking things. So they have a lot of really good stuff. But it says real white chocolate, no sugar added, soy free. And let's see what are the carbs. And it even has a, a recipe, low carb yums, white chocolate chip macadamia keto cookies. Ooh, yummy. That sounds really good. Um, let's see, does it say? I know it says here somewhere. Um, can you hear the hummingbirds? Hummingbirds, I love them. They're all over, buzzing all over the place. Um, seven grams carbohydrate. Six fiber, yay! So that's like one net carb, yummy. So anyway, there's these, and then I've heard so much about Lily's um, chocolates. So Lily has the sugar-free baking chocolate, but I haven't ever seen it except for you know on Amazon and that sort of thing. 
But when I was at Walmart, which I've checked at Walmart before and I've never seen it there, but they actually have it now. So I was pretty excited. So I got two different kinds. They have dark chocolate baking chips, dark chocolate, and then semi-sweet um, style baking chips. So they have the two. They actually had three. Um, they had um, milk chocolate also, but I, I just got the two. Um, so these are no sugar added. Let's see. Less sugar, sweet life, 45% cocoa, stevia sweetened. So these have stevia in it. Um, and this one is 45 cocoa. This is 55% because this is a dark chocolate. And for carbs, 8, minus 5, and 3. So these are like zero, zero net carbs. For this one, 8, 4, 3. So this is 1. So this one's 1 net carb. Anyway, they both look really, really yummy, so I'm going to have to find some good recipe. Maybe I'll try the, um, this one here sounds really good. The Low Carb Yums White Chocolate Chip Macadamia Keto Cookies. Mmm, sounds really good. Now, another, on another sweet chocolate note, I, um, I'm always talking about Russell Stover's uh, candies, the sugar-free candies. They have all kinds of flavors and, and different ones from, like, pecan clusters to... Um, coconut to mint um, all this kind of stuff well I found a new one I was at a different store and they actually had a bunch of different flavors and they had this flavor I hadn't seen before and it's orange As you can see it says orange right here but you know they look chocolate so it tastes so much like the, the um, like the orange chocolate candies that you can buy oh my gosh it is really really yummy it's like I think it's my new favorite I really like this one it's really good so if you see this out there, give it a try if you like those candies. They're really, really good. Um, so that, that's my sugar, sugar-free uh, chocolate candy stuff that I have today. And today was such a beautiful day. It was actually really rainy and stormy most of the day. And then at, in the afternoon, the sun came out, and I went out and took a bunch of pictures. I posted them on my profile. Um, but our flowers are just blooming all over the place. And so I took a ton of pictures, and I posted a bunch of them. And then... I got some really cool pictures of the storm clouds off over the hills, which was really pretty. We had to go into town and do some errands, so that was a lot of fun. And I always like getting out, you know, you know me, and especially during these times, getting out is fun. And we had to pick up a few items and do some errands and mail the ballots and that sort of thing. There's a hummingbird it's right behind me. Um, and so that was good, but I made sure I got my exercise in today and I got my ab workout and my abs are killing me, but it feels good feels good mentally to have my abs heal me. So um, if you want to add, you know, some exercise into your life, if you're having a hard time, you know, all we're all stuffed in the house and you can't get that exercise in or you're just super busy and you don't feel like you can get exercise in, I do have a list of seven fat burning exercises to help you lose weight faster in five minutes or less. And what's great about it is like what I do because I'm busy, I'm at the computer all day long. And if I don't force myself to get out of my chair, I will sit there all day and not move and back hurts and, and I'm hunched over. And so I just set an alarm for once an hour. And then I get up and do one of these exercises like for three, four, five minutes really fast. And I do it like five or six times a day. So I, by the end of the day, you know, you're getting 25, 20, 25, 30 minutes of exercise in and it feels really good. It's really awesome because it does wake you up, wakes me up, wakes me up, you know, gets my blood pumping a little bit, burns a few calories, gets my head out of whatever I'm doing so I can, you know, wake up and uh, get myself moving. And it just feels better knowing I'm getting that exercise in and shoving it into the little nooks and crannies of your day, even if you feel like you don't have time. Like, I never feel like I have time to do exercise. So if you'd like that, just send me a private message and say seven exercises and I'd be happy to send it to you. And you can uh, add that into your routine, see if it might help you out. And uh, the hummingbirds, I'm always afraid they're going to like bounce off my head or something, but they're so cute. I got some video and I posted that the other day too, um, of them flying back and forth. There's usually two or three of them and they're all over the place. They're pretty cool. So anyway, I hope you have a great rest of your day. It's Monday. Set your goals for the week today. Uh, I was work, um, up late last night doing that. I wanted to make sure I had my calendar all scheduled. I just started really getting into scheduling my time and it really does help me to, you know, focus and make sure during the... The times instead of flailing around and you know wasting time i'm actually oh i'm supposed to be doing this right now i'm supposed to be doing this right now and get this done and you know makes me focus a lot better and utilize my time better so i'm not just wasting time you feel like you're busy all the time but you're not actually getting the correct things done and that the calendaring has really helped me with that so hopefully you get that list going for the week set your goals for the week and then have an awesome week i'll see you on my next video